cousin. And to have another cousin. Right? That's good. That's good. Sister Dosa, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for all of the change that happens uh, because if we don't have change then we we become stagnant we just kind of sit still right? and um, we don't we don't it, it makes us when we have change it makes us appreciate um, things around us so much more so it's like just us looking up and seeing you kids grow we know Elijah's not going to be his age forever. We know Jada's not going to be her age forever. One day she's going to be moving and helping, and she's going to be cooking and cleaning and sewing and all kinds of stuff. Noah's going to be street speaking with Elijah and Caleb, Ezekiel. The twins are going to be double dutching, you know, doing all kinds of stuff. You know, everything is going to change, and we got to be grateful for it, you know. And I'm very, very happy and thankful that we have Thanabad now. Welcome, welcome, little man. Hi, welcome. I, and just to go off of what you're saying, you know, it, I'm thankful for the change as well because with with change, with change comes growth. So you have to be able to to learn new things because you have to grow. That's what we're here for, right? That's where we start at one point and then we grow into who we're meant to be. So that's, I'm definitely thankful for change and I'm definitely thankful to be able to be a, with you all, with you children, and to be able to help y'all and have fun together. I hope we have fun together and we learn together. Right? That's the goal. We don't have fun? No? You ready for fun? <laughs> what's the What's the second thing we do, Noah? The 12 commandments. Good job, buddy. And you're going to start us off, right? Let's do this. The Ten Commandments. There you go. Thou shalt not. First, let's 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 say where are you at? Exodus twenty verse three. Good job. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Yeah. Uh, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any light likeness of anything. That is in heaven above, or, or that it, is yeah. in the earth beneath, or that is in the water above, under the earth. Thou shalt not do bow bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Then. Them for I, the Lord, they, God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto, unto thou in labor of, of thousands love me and keep my commandments thou shalt not Take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Of, for the Lord will not hold me guilty, hold him guilty in this, that take, taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh, good job. Elijah, start back at night. Good job on your reading, Noah. I see that improvement, buddy. Job. Verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. 
In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in the midst, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy day may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear, bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Time, time, water. So today's class, we're going to go over our topic. It's going to be stand up for righteousness. So who can tell me what righteousness means? Me. You can tell me? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean, Ezekiel? What do you think righteousness means? Okay. Khan, Khan, Yahweh is righteousness, Khan. We're trying to get to Yahweh, Khan. That's right. Mina, what is righteousness? I see. To honor your mother and your father. To honor your mother and your father. Righteousness, can that's something that you do to strive for righteousness. Honor your mother and your father. But who can tell me what righteousness means? Y'all, if y'all need help, you can call on a sister. So righteousness, to stand up for righteousness. When I think of righteousness, um, I think about Yahweh Shai. And he, when he stood up, he stood up for righteousness. No matter what was going on, he had to do good. He had to, he had to do what was right at all times. So that goodliness that we do, mm -hmm. when it, like say for instance, when there's a big Halloween party, right? When there's a big Halloween party at school and everybody wants to go. And then it's just you and you're the only kid in your class. And they say, hey, hey, Noah, Elijah, are you going to the Halloween party? I'm kind of going into this class. And, and, and you say, you say no, and, and you say, no, you know what? I don't, I don't celebrate Halloween. I celebrate the high holy days that are listed in the Bible that the Most High commands us to celebrate. That's you standing up in righteousness. So you're doing the correct thing. And it's going to be, it's not always going to be hard. I mean, it's not always going to be easy, but we do it for one, one reason, okay? We do it for a number of reasons, but you have to stand up to, you have to stand up to the things that other people want. You're doing the correct thing, okay? Um, so what, one of the, one of the, one of the, I'm sorry, definitions, it says morally good justified or acceptable and then it tells you like as a little as a little kid you go i hope i'm doing the right thing you know i hope i'm doing the right thing by not going to that halloween party that everybody else is going to i know that i'm doing the right thing in the most highest eyes for, for righteousness sake Han. okay well said sis Han. righteousness basically do the right thing but do the right thing for the most high and the right thing. And he gave us his laws, right? Mm -hmm. That he told us how to do the right thing. So today what we're gonna go over, we're gonna go over the story of David and Goliath. Who knows the story of David and Goliath? No, no one, you don't know the story? Come on, I think you're lying. Good one. Who knows the story of David and Goliath? Elijah, what's the story? It's when David, he shepherd. He's a shepherd and what his, he, brothers, he mm -hmm. his brothers go to war against the Philistines, but the Philistines had Goliath, which is a giant. Mm -hmm. So the the Hebrew army was all scared. Ah. So when David went to go deliver his brothers something, he saw that they were scared of the 
the the lion. So he went to go okay. slay it. So he had a stone and a slingshot, and he threw the stone right in the middle of his forehead. And then you he just, goes, you, we don't even have to go to the scriptures. You're right? just telling us everything that happened. Khan. So Max, turn around. So Khan, the whole story, did, we're going to go into David standing up for righteousness. And he kills Goliath. So, Elijah, start. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 17 and verse 2. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 2. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of bread. Okay, stop. So what, what it's going over is they, it's going over Israel and the Philistines about to fight. They're about to go to war. So, and now it goes into Goliath. It explains Goliath. Goliath, what does it say? Goliath was six cubits and a span. That's 11 and a half feet tall. 11 and a half feet tall. That's tall. So the, the they're going, and they're, it's explaining him wearing all this armor too. So on top of him being tall, he's big, wearing big armor, right? So look at look back. I want y'all to look back to y'all's names, where we marked y'all. Do y'all see? Imagine y'all having to go to war with someone that is, Super, super tall. What would y'all feel? What do you think y'all would feel? Huh? Good. Happy. You would feel, happy. You would feel happy? And good. Brightness. Okay, that's brave. Greatness. Greatness. Wow. Are, are you I I said, how would you feel if you were David? You were that small having to go up to a giant like Goliath that's 11 feet tall. Greatness. You would feel greatness? Mm -hmm. Jada, well, how would I you feel? I would really have confidence. You would have, ooh, I like that. You would have confidence. Khan. I have so, our names. Uh-huh, Khan. What? Verse 9. 
if he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then we'll be then we will be your servant. But if I prevail against him and kill him, if you're able to fight me and kill me, then we're, we Philistines are going to be y'all Israel's servants. Ooh, ooh, right? You want that, right? Huh. But if you can't kill me, then you Israel are going to be our servants. Now that's a tough one, right? But they want, he, Goliath wants to fight somebody that's going to kill him. He's being, he's being too brave, right? He's brave because he's like in his head, nobody's going to kill me, right? <laughs> Nobody's gonna kill me. He has a faith. He has a faith in the most high. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> or maybe, maybe, maybe Goliath has faith in his own self. <laughs> okay, let's read, to, let's read verse 10, Elijah. Verse 10. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man, and we may fight together. Mm. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Stop. So, remember, Goliath is telling me, y'all, who's going to fight me? Who's going to fight me? Remember, if whoever fights me and kills me, if Israel wins, we're going to be you all servant. Mm. Right? But if y'all fight me, me Goliath, if y'all fight Goliath and y'all lose, well then Israel's gonna be our servants. So when they heard this, this saying in verse 11, when they heard this, Israel got scared. Cause they're like, ooh, uh, no, I ain't trying to stand up to no giant. I'm gonna get crushed. That's what they're thinking, right? Exactly. They didn't have no faith. They're like, uh, we, this is this is a tough one. We got to think about it. The, you know, Goliath is shouting. He's shouting. He's being a bully. Can y'all think of somebody that's being a bully? Think of think of school. Think of any anywhere you're at, and think of a bully. You know, a bully is someone that you're scared of, right? Yeah. And that's how Israel was feeling. They're feeling like Goliath was their bully. Ooh, and he was, he had it. He was tall. He had the armor. He was big, right? Mm -hmm. Not not today, Satan. <laughs> Why do you think Israel was scared? From everything, from what I said, from the story, why do you think he was scared? Jaya. Why do you think that Israel was scared to fight Goliath? But let's use faith. They didn't have faith. But faith in who? Khan, Mina, Max, sit down. Mina, why do you think Israel was scared to fight Goliath? Because he's huge and he was bigger. Ooh, that's what they were thinking, right? They're like, no. Mm -mm. Max, why do you think that Israel was scared to fight Goliath? Because he was big, right? And yeah. that's what they were looking at. They were looking at him being really big. Ezekiel? Is it big? <laughs> Khan, Elijah, you have your hand raised. You want to answer. I was thinking because they're looking at the appearance, not his spirit. Uh, and the life had pride. So it was like, I'm not going to lose. Y'all going to lose. Khan, but I mean, whether his had his spirit like how are they gonna fight him that you know the spirit he it's because they were looking the first thing you said they were looking at his appearance they can't look at his you know the most high will see his his spirit but they're looking at his appearance they're 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 not worried about his spirit All, they can't even think past his appearance right now at this point they're like <laughs> oh my god he's so big you know he's huge He's huge, he's big, he has armor. Like, how are we gonna do this? Right? Khan, Noah, why do you think? You got it, buddy. Why do you think? 
Marcy, can you ask a question again? Yeah. So why do you think Israel, and remember, think of Israel not just like one person. There was a whole army of men, a whole army of men. Why do you think that they were scared to fight this one giant? We didn't expect that one. Khan, they were afraid. They were afraid of him. Let's go to one thing. I let's read verse 16. Verse 16. Verse 7, chapter 17, verse 16. And the Philistine drew near morning and evening and presented himself 40 days. Stop. So 40 days. Right here is telling you Goliath was being a bully to them for 40 days. Wow, come on. Nobody had the courage. Nobody nobody had the courage to stand up to him. 40 days he was telling them, y'all fight me, y'all fight me. And they were there 40 days, scared. Mm -hmm. Come on. Some, right? We're like, come on, right? Come on, man. Come, come on, man. man. That's right. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So now, now, let's read about David. So let's read about David. Go to verse 32. Verse uh, Samuel chapter 17, verse 32. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Okay, stop. So David, what he was doing before we're reading verse 32. I want y'all to know, David, he came to the camp. He came to where the Israel was at to go feed his brothers. Who who knows what David was when he was a young child? Who can tell me? Who can tell me what David did when he was a young child? Noah? Do you, do you remember who David was when he was a young child? You don't remember who he was? Come on. You got to think inside that brain. <laughs> what was he? I know you know, Elijah. I know you know. Well, who was David when he was a young child? What did David do? He was telling Saul, like, don't let your heart, don't let your mind fail you because you see this giant. I will fight. They're like, what the? I will fight. He's saying, don't let, he's telling, he's telling Saul, don't let your mind fail you. Because that's what they're doing. The Israel is letting their minds fool them. Can you tell me how they're letting their minds fool them? How do you think that they're letting their minds fool them? We said it earlier. They're looking at what? Mina. They're looking at Exactly. They're letting their minds fool them by looking at how he looks. Right? Read verse 33, Elijah. Uh, verse 33. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Read verse 34. Verse 34. And David said to Saul, Thy servant keepeth mm -hmm. his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. Okay, so stop. Saul's so like, you can't fight him. <laughs> you, you're a shepherd from your youth, from you were, from you were a baby. Goliath, I'm gonna ask a question. Uh, Goliath, he fought since he was a youth. So Saul's so looking, remember, they're letting their minds fool them. Saul's so looking at David and how he was and he being a shepherd taking care of sheep and then he's looking at Goliath. Goliath always fought so Goliath was always training and then David's like well listen here Saul right David tells him I fought bears lions mm. to protect my sheep Ooh. Bear and a lion, like how, he has no fear. He has no fear, right? What were you gonna say, Elijah? I was gonna say 
what I'm thinking of this is that like Saul's trying to put fear in David. I'm thinking. Okay, God, he's he's putting him down. They they have no faith, right? Mm -hmm. They have no faith. So let's let's go read to verse forty. Read read. I'm sorry. Read uh, verse forty. First uh, Samuel chapter seventeen, verse forty. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had, even in a script, and his sling was in his hand, and he drew near the Philistine. Con, so stop. No. So what is it saying here? What is David getting? Noah, what is David getting here? But what is he what is he using? His staff. And what else? He gathered five what? No? Read it. Five? Read, read that part, Elijah. Huh. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 40. Pay attention. See? And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones. Okay. So what is he what is he gonna use to fight Goliath? His staff and five stones. Five mm. stones. Mm -hmm. He's going to use that. Turn around. I want y'all to turn around. He's going to use that to fight this giant with what? Five smooth stones. Stones. That's wow. It? Stones and he has one more thing. Read the whole, read the whole 40 again. Verse Samuel chapter 17, verse 40. And he took his staff in his hand and chose some five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in the shepherd's bag, which he had even in a script. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. So he's, he has five stones and his sling. He has five stones oh. and his sling. <laughs> Come on now, picture it. Y'all have to picture that. He's gonna, he has, yeah. Well, wait, what are you gonna say, Noah? My dad was watching a video and it showed um, David, um, David killing Goliath. Wow. Oh, really? Throwing so, the stone and the stone so, blew up. So then you can picture it in your head, right? Mom. You, that's, that's really good that you saw that video. Now you can picture it in your head. This, this boy fighting a giant with stones at his sling. Who can tell me what other thing he used? What did he use? His staff. Okay, but I'm looking not for an item. What, okay, let me, let me ask my question. What did he have? Faith. What did he have? Faith. Faith. Yeah. But who did he have faith in? Did he have faith in the sling and the stones? Or what did he have faith in, Noah? The most high. Mm -hmm. Khan. What did he have faith in, Caleb? What did David yeah. have faith in to that he knew that he was going to beat Goliath? What did he have faith? <laughs> no, in the most high. You gotta pay attention. Sit up straight. Pay attention. David had faith in the most high. So he's only using a sling and stones, right? Okay, so Elijah, read for me verse 47 through 50. Uh, verse 7, chapter 17, verse 47. And all this is seventy shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord, and he will give you into our hands. Okay, stop. So he said, I'm going to read it. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword. The Lord doesn't save with sword and spear, right? For the battle is the most high. David is saying the battle is the most high. He will give you into our hands. He's telling Goliath, you're going to die. The, this is the most high battle. David 
understood this was the most highest battle. David understood what he had to do. Turn around, Max, and sit down. Right? Continue. Verse 48. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to the Philistine. Okay, so David, David's going. David's getting there. He got, he, he's prepared. He's going. Continue. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone. Okay, y'all. David's putting his hand in his bag. He's taking a stone. Continue. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, what's going to happen? Continue. And slang it. Ooh, and he got it. He got it. He got the, he got the stone. <laughs> and he got it. And boom. He slang it. Continue. And smoked the Philistine. And he his... smoked the Philistine. He killed who, y'all? Who did David kill? Goliath. Jada, who did David kill? He killed the giant. He killed Goliath. He killed him with the sleeve and the stone. Continue, Elijah. In his forehead. Ooh, where did he kill him at? In his forehead. So y'all got to, David is, has this sleeve. David has a stone. And this is a big old giant. And he shot him right in his where? Forehead. Forehead. Con. Continue. That the that the stone sunk into his forehead. Oh man! Not only did he get him in the forehead, but it went through. Ooh! Come on, you just gotta see that power. Got that arrow. Boom! Right? Continue. And he fell upon his face to the earth. Ha ha, now who's laughing, right? <laughs> now who's laughing? That, that giant, Goliath, all that talk for what? To get killed by a stone. Continue. So David rebelled over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him, but there is no sword in the hand of David. Ooh, stop. So... There was no sword. David didn't use the sword. Max, turn around. David didn't use the sword, right? What did David use? What did he use, Max? He okay, Khan. What did he use, Noah? A rock and a sling. Khan. He used the rock and the sling. Y'all both right. He used faith in the Most High. He used courage, right? What did he use, Jada? Uh, Khan, he used the sling and the stones. He, yeah. Uh -uh. So remember, wait one second. What did he use, Mina? Let, let me see. Were you paying attention? What did he use? A slingshot and a rock. He used a slingshot and a rock. All right, y'all. Who's going to be my helper? Who wants to be my helper? Me, me. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me, let's do it like this. Eeny, meeny, miny. Noah. Oh, I got y'all, right? <laughs> I got y'all. Yeah. Hey, you gotta make sure you're paying attention. Hi. Hi. Don't get a sad face if you don't get picked. Just try harder. Hi. I want you to pass these out to everybody. Make sure everybody gets one, okay? Nina, what, what are they getting? What's what do you think they're getting? What do you think that is? A sling? No way. Um, red. Elijah, pass me five each to everybody, please. Everybody sit down. If you're not sitting down, you're not getting one. No, he's going last because it doesn't matter. Do it quick. Guys, Come on. Do it quick. Are we, should we do a countdown for them? I think so. I think we need to do a countdown. Well, no running. In 10, 9, ready? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Class. All right. So
So I'm gonna ask you before we get to our activity, remember when I said what a giant was earlier? Remember I said I wanted y'all to think about a giant? Remember when I said I wanted y'all to think about a giant? And I'm gonna remind y'all, a giant is something that seems too big for us to handle. Mm -hmm. Right? A giant can be something that seems too big for us to handle, whether it's at the school, wherever we're at. A, a giant can be a problem that we think is too big to handle. No playing with it right now, or I'm going to take it away. Okay? How do you think, with your giant, how do you think the Most High will be able to help you? Jada, with the giant, any giant that you have, any problem, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get to everybody. Any problem that you have, think of David and Goliath, right? Any problem that you have, Jada, how do you think the Most High will help you? What do you have to have? You have to have faith in the Most High, right? But faith in the Most High for what, though? Okay, but let's think about the story of David and Goliath. To, to faith in the Most High to get you through, through what? Through, 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 Mina, sit down. Through your enemies. Through your enemies. Through any problems you have, right? Think about Israel. They were scared. Israel was scared. Right? Israel was scared. Let's pay attention. Mina. Let's think about a problem that you might have that you think is too big for you. How do you think the Most High will help you? Like trust Him and greatness and strength. And you have to have what? Faith in the Most High. You have to have faith in the Most High. You have to have faith in the Most High, right? Max, what do you have to have? Kingdom of what? No, you have to have faith in the Most High, mm -hmm. not not in the rocks. What about you, Ezekiel? What do you have to have? Faith in the Most High. Faith in the Most High. Most High. High. Kind. Kayla? You have, you have to have faith. Faith That's in what? Most High. Faith in the Most High. Uh, Noah? Faith in the Most High. You have to have faith in the Most High. I guess, you know. Right, we have to have faith in the most high. high. Were you gonna say something else, Elijah? Yes, sir. What were you gonna that say? You have to you have to be righteous too. We have to be what? Righteous. We have to be righteous, okay? And explain what, what do you mean by that? Like we have to stand up and not be scared. We have to stand up and not be scared. That was my next point. Khan. We have to stand up and not be scared. As we sit out, Khan. Remember, y'all, if you have faith in the Most High, He will get you through all your fears, your problems. He will give you courage. He will give you courage when nobody else has it. That's beautiful. He's going to give you courage when nobody else has it. Remember, it don't matter how small you are, because David was small. David was the youngest child. He was small. Nobody believed that he could do it. But David had faith in the Most High that he would be able to win. David was our example. It doesn't matter how small you are. You can be the example to everybody around you. In school, they might think that, oh, why is he not celebrating birthdays? Why is he not celebrating? Let's bring it back to what Ashariah said earlier. You know, not celebrating Halloween and all, all of these holidays that they have. But, you're, but remember, when you're not doing that, remember that, that you're doing a big thing. You're standing up for righteousness. You're standing up for the most high by not being lost in the world, by not doing what the world wants you to do. You're standing up for righteousness. You have courage. You, Each and every single one of you have courage. Remember that even if you feel like, oh, I can't do it, I'm too small, you're doing it already. You are doing it each and every single day. You're doing it by when you're coming to class and learning and participating, right? You're doing it each and every single day when you're not eating the pork. Go sit down. When you're not eating the pork, when you're not celebrating all the holidays, right? You're doing it. You you have faith. Let's. You have faith like a what? Like a what, Jada? You have faith as what? I can't hear you. Have class what? You have faith. Like a mustard seed. 
And that's the most beautiful thing. So remember, children, remember, you have faith as a mustard seed. Okay, you can't you can't be messing with it. You have to stand over here. 
And <laughs> she's like, I get you. Go. Ezekiel, go to the back. Go, Elijah, try. <laughs> Can we keep them? Hold on. Go. Yes. Hold on. Yeah. Y'all stand. <laughs> all right, all right. Everybody tried. Okay, we we still come on. Let's come. I know we can still keep trying. Let's come sit down. Hold on. Let's come sit down real quick. Oh, you didn't go? Okay, go ahead. No me. Yes, you did. Me. Okay. Hold on. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Before we try again, we're gonna have to sit down. Yeah, I got six seconds to get back to your seat. Six.
Butterfly one, butterfly one, a bowl, a bowl, a bushano, a bushano, a mayon, mayon, rye, rye, kaya, kaya, the car, the car, a malakwa, a malakwa, wa ala, wa ala, wa da para, wa da para. I will love you, I will love you, Aman, Aman. Go ahead, Noah. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done, in earth, on earth, as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven, give us this day, give us this day, our daily bread, our daily bread, and forgive us, and forgive us, of our debts, of our debts, and lead us not, and lead us not, into temptation, into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us, from evil, from evil, thine is the kingdom, for thine is the kingdom, and the